Hello. Hi, brother. How are you? Everything good? Uh, I'm good. Thank you. Very good, very good. Today, I want to talk about the candle's shape. So, these are so important in the market, understanding what is mean. So, you are trading, you will see uh, sometimes this type of very, very long candles. Or sometimes you will see weak candles like this. Sometimes a medium candle. And there are a specific shapes also in the market that we will talk about. But first, let's talk about this big type of candles in the market. So you need to be so aware when you see a big type of and long candle like this this candle means the here it is a bullish it means the bars get exhausted in the most of scenarios it means they push and put all of their power in the market and push it all the way up so they are so far away in the from the buyers area right so this was the buyers entry point this is so much important to understand this, but it is different where this candle come from. It is not like always you see a big candle here. You say, okay, this, this means the bird all put their all of power here. And after this, the market will reverse for sure. No, there is, it is not like that. It is different where this candle appear but you know all of the scenarios you need to be careful but let me tell you what is the difference so you can see here there is a line candle here also there is a line candle after this candle there is a reversal but after this candle you will see market shoot to go up why what is the difference here the difference is the level that these two candles come from. So this candle come from this level here. And this below candle coming from this level here. So it is different when they come from which level. This level above level here, it is a minor level, a weak level so market here it made just a retracement and then continue to go down as you can see so this big candle here it will be sign of reversal the sellers are strong it closed at the level here and it is a very big candle and this is a marbuzu candle what is a marbuzu candle a candle that don't have any rejection here so marbuzu candle can have it can uh, didn't have any rejection like this candle or it can have for example it have this below rejection but from the up it don't have any rejection this is also a marbuzu candle marbuzu candle itself it is sign of reversal a big candle without any rejection above so this is a marbuzu candle coming from this a small level it is not that much a strong level so it comes from this level it is a big candle and marbuzu candle closing at the level after this momentum this candle appear here so this candle will be sign of reversal but why this big candle here why it is not sign of uh, it is not didn't after this reverse the market why it didn't reverse after this it depends on this level that it come from this is a very very a strong level that market come from so you need to see the candles come from which level one candle itself it cannot explain you all of the points you cannot say 
this is a big candle the market after this for sure will reverse no here you can see the two example here in front of your eyes two big candle one of them reverse one of them continue so strongly so it is not about only the candles candles are important but you need to see and understand from where this candle coming from so this big candle coming from a big and a strong and valid level as i told you a strong levels have the power to change the market direction exactly this candle do this to this market you can see it was a downtrend what happened this candle broke it and make it to go in up direction so because it coming from this valid level it is important for us the level is also play a big role if it is a minor level exactly like this it will again reverse if it close at a level it will uh, reverse like this this exactly happen here a reversal the next candle that we want to talk about it is doji candle so a doji candle it is like this it means the opening price and the closing price both are in the same place so a doji candle means the buyers and sellers are in the equal power if we find any doji on this market to show you so it means the buyers and sellers are in equal power okay like here this is a doji candle here and here this both here are doji so these candles telling us the buyers and sellers both are in equal, in equal power the opening price and closing price is in the same point so it means the level the buyers and sellers in three points decide on the next candle who enter in the market so again the candle is important but the levels again have a big part to what happen if there is any level here a strong level this doji what it means so the psychology is this the words was a strong they was getting power so they could easily make a green candle here but what happened the sellers and buyers are in equal power so here the level make a big part here and if there is a good resistance level here the market will reverse here because the birds was strong they lose their power by this candle this candle telling the sellers and buyers are equal but they was in power but now they get equal means if there is any big and a strong level the market will easily here reverse and the sellers will enter but if like this the level be far again still still there is a gap what will happen so the sellers area is this and who are strong here buyers that previously was in the market you can see they are strong so this candle will be now a continuation sign so we cannot tell this is a reversal sign or it continuation sign it can be the both of them it is depend on where is the next level so levels are so important in trading we need to understand them so it is the doji doji have different shape as you know these are the doji shapes so all of these are doji and there is no difference on this the next thing it is a spinning top so you can see in a spinning top there is a rejection from the sellers there is a rejection also from the buyers it shows the both side buyers and sellers are present here 
in the market. So again, it will exactly be like the doji. It have both sides, the buyers and sellers. So the level will decide where the market will go. If there is any resistance level, any sellers entry point, like here, the market will reverse because it is a weak candle. So you can see it have rejection, the body is a small body. So it is a weak candle. If there is any level, it will be reversal sign. Exactly like here, this is a reversal sign. But if it is in the middle, if there is no uh, level near, it will be a continuation sign. And the color, it doesn't matter so red or green if you find a doji that it is in the middle it will continue or if it is at the level it will reverse the market so there is no a difference so these are in the middle it was red it opened with a little bit gap but no problem it will be a continuation sign so the next bars are for the sellers will continue their move. So if it is at the level, it will reverse. If it is in the middle, like here, again, this is in the middle. So the levels are here. Because it is in the middle, it will continue the market. So the color doesn't matter, red or green, both are same. The next thing, it is hammer candle, as you know. Hammer candle, it have a rejection. This rejection tell you the sellers push the market to go down. The buyers here was here and it pushed market to go up and it closed here. So the closing point, you can see the seller's entry is here, the buyer's entry is here. Closing point is near to the sellers. If it be in the middle, because it is near to seller's area, seller's entry point, the next candle we can expect a seller's candle. But if here be any SNL level, it will be reversal sign and this rejection will be a confirmation for these buyers in this SNR. They will enter an, in the next candle and they will push the market to go up. So exactly we are seeing this here. It is a level, so it will be a reversal side. You can see the market here. It is a big candle also, but it is at the level. As I told you, big candle at the level, it will be a reversal sign. So here the sellers enter and this is ca this candle also a confirmation for reversal. So we are seeing sellers entry. So about the big candles, there is another point also. Sometimes you are in the market, you will see like this, uh, a small bullish candle followed by a little bit more stronger, a little bit more stronger and a strong candle like this. If you check this type of movement, you will see the buyers step by step, they are getting more power. So according to this, if there is no uh, strong level for sure, it will continue. Why? Because they are getting more power and they will continue to go up. But if it's be like this situation, so look in difference here the bars was weak weak weaker you can see it is getting weaker 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 suddenly a very big candle come this is for sure a reversal sign if you see any level here you cannot expect after this candle here a uh, bars entry so this will be your reversal sign. Why? Because the bars are getting uh, weaker and weaker and suddenly a very big 
bullish candle here it is not normal thing in the market and market will reverse here easily